So today I'm here with my friend Sunny from Panasonic. Sunny, it's a really special day because we are installing an ERV at my friend's house. These are some of our best friends, Jason and Alicia. Jason has had a really rough past um, with two different types of cancers through his life. So a healthy home is super, super important to them and we wanna make sure we deliver. All right, so this is the IntelliBalance 100. The IntelliBalance is our, our fancy name for energy recovery ventilator. So what is so important about an ERV system? Well, we'll take a few steps back and look at it as an air exchanger. We're pulling in fresh air and we're taking out stale air. So whether it's a heat recovery ventilator or an energy recovery ventilator, they're doing the same things. The key thing is the core within the actual unit. Within the heat recovery ventilator, you're not able to do and manage the moisture as well as you are with an ERV. So the magic is really done within the core of the unit. In the case of this home, because it's a retrofit, we're actually introducing it into the HVAC system, into the ductwork. Essentially, that's it. Bring in fresh air, take out stale air, and really have that optimal indoor air quality within the home. That's amazing. And like I said, very important for my friend Jason, I want to make sure after this renovation that he has nothing but the healthiest home that he can live in, and he's breathing in the proper air that he should have. Who should be installing an ERV unit for a homeowner? Should it be a licensed contractor, or is it a DIY project? It's basically a, a contractor install, uh, okay. and typically the, the heating ventilation uh, contractor. You got to look at you know venting, and you got to look at some of the um, the ways we tie it into the HVAC system. I wouldn't even do it myself. I would make sure I'm hiring the correct contractor to come in. That way, you know that there are no mistakes. You're good for warranty, and you are healthy. Is the cost of an ERV comparable to HRV? Base model, you're going to probably see about a 15 to 20 percent difference in cost. Okay. There's, there's cost savings when you, when you look at putting in an ERV, especially on the air conditioning season. Yeah. What about regular maintenance? How do you maintain something like this? Well, I mean, there's, there's a filter in there. There's actually a couple of filters. One should be changed uh, typically every six months. We do have an indicator on here where it'll, it'll beep and tell you, but really it's, it's a reminder to check. I love that there's a reminder of it because I tend to forget a lot of things. We all are really busy in yes. life, so reminding me to check my filters and to change them is very important. As a homeowner, where could I go about purchasing one of these systems? Um, you could probably find an ERV or an HRV uh, somewhere online, okay. and then you still have to call a contractor unless you're going to try to tackle it yourself. Yeah. Like any HVAC install, whether it be you know a heat pump, a furnace, or a ERV or HRV, if it's not installed properly, you're only as good as your installation, right? So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How often do you run an ERV or is that something that you should just run consistently? If you're designing a home uh, in an HVAC system, the requirements will be laid out for you okay. uh, in a new construction home. In a retrofit, it's really, it's up to you, right? I mean, if you look at the, the IntelliBalance 100 and the onboard controls, you have, you know, you can put it on for 20 minutes in an hour, 40 minutes an hour, or keep it on the full, the full continuous run. Okay, uh, so it can be programmed already to run a certain amount of time instead of just constantly coming down here and setting it on. In, a, in an environment like this, you probably want to run it more than you're not. You know what I mean? If you have it here, um, you want to make sure it's running and doing its job. One thing we didn't mention is this is a cold climate unit. It'll be a certain defrost schedule that it'll go through. Wow. The magic is done in the core for that. Homeowner doesn't have to worry about any of that. I love that. 